to your channel and I hope you are doing absolutely well this is back with another video so today it's gonna be the review of the Octavia OS based on Android 11 for Redmi Note 5 Pro so without any further ado let's now get started So here is my Redmi Note 5 Pro as you can see this is the latest Android 11 yes this ROM is based on Android 11 let me first show the about device section before talking about anything else so going into the about phone and the Android version as you can see this is Octavia OS so sorry for the bad pronunciation I thought it's Octavia Octavia OS it says 1.0 this is the initial build and talking about the android version as you can see the latest and greatest android 11 running on the redmi note 5 pro and you might be thinking there are bugs in this room but that's not the case do watch this video until the end i'll be talking about battery life performance etc in the later part so talking about other stuff the build type is official as you can see clearly the security patch is of september 5 2020 with the latest build it will be synced with the october security patch and the kernel here it says storm breaker dub dubbed and the version is 4.4.236 as you can see here that's really nice and the kernel is pretty good in terms of performance and battery life so talking about other stuff like going back as you can see here is the settings menu there are a bit of changes here from android 10 as you can see settings is over here it's written as settings and it looks a little bit similar to the one ui 3.0 beta from samsung as you can see even in that settings is written here like this so talking about other stuff guys as you can see here there are like pretty much all the standard stuff what you need and talking about customizations here are a couple of customizations few of them aren't working yet but still most of them work like going into navigation we only have navigation buttons we don't have gestures yet so it will be added in the upcoming builds talking about notifications as you can see there is nothing over here talking about system as you can see again there isn't anything here so going back and talking about buttons here are a couple of customizations for your volume rockers, the standard ones and gestures it says over here double tap to sleep on status bar let us try it out as you can see works well and for some reason fingerprint scanner is not recognizing my finger like every time like it's getting failed for some reason I'm not sure but it works though like it's not like it's not working but still these are a few gestures in the customizations so talking about lock screen here are a couple of customizations it's pre-enabled i didn't enable those status bar customizations are here like volt e icons etc is present as you can see status bar items is here as i told you earlier there isn't any major customizations added yet but in the upcoming builds it would be definitely added back so here is the battery percentage setting show battery percentage always show battery percentage okay here it is so talking about other stuff like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. Everything is working absolutely well. I didn't had any issues with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth or anything like that. So talking about the performance in this room, guys. Let me show you my last Geekbench results really quick. So going into the Geekbench and talking about the history. As you can see, I ran Geekbench thrice. Like I installed this room on October 3rd. I'm using it since October 3rd. And this was when the device was heated up and I got a score of 1134 on multi-core, 271 on the single core and this was when the device was cool enough as you can see a little bit better scores here and this was when the device was like cool enough i didn't use it at all for like eight hours or something it was on standby after that i directly ran geekbench again there are a few improvements here in the single core as you can see not a major difference over there but still the device is performing pretty well but for some reason on the stock wallpaper that comes with this rom it lags yes I saw that with the stock wallpaper everything seems to be lagging like even the animation while you are pulling down your status bar even that is laggy and while you are using your launcher like this even that was laggy once I change the wallpaper everything is working absolutely well now so if you face lags like that I recommend you guys to change the wallpaper if you are using this room talking about the camera application as you can see here is the camera it's purely because of the lighting guys Oops. Sorry for that so it's purely because of the lighting and 4k video recording isn't working with this camera apart from that everything seems to work absolutely well i didn't had any issues as you can see over there so talking about the google camera what i installed as you can see i have installed gcam and it's working fine but the night side is not working that great like android 10 roms which i had reviewed previously but still gcam is working fine on this one the camera quality is slightly better than the stock camera so for android 11 maybe gcam is a different like there might be a different version of gcam this is android 10 gcam what i downloaded for redmi note 5 pro so talking about install application i installed youtube and instagram 
and gcam apart from that all other apps came pre-installed with this rom okay geekbench 2 i installed that this rom doesn't come with any gapps installed guys i will have all the links in the description for gapps etc you need to download it manually and flash i installed bits gapp which later got me play store and stuff so that's what it is talking about the battery life in this rom guys so let me show you the battery life till now i will also show you some screenshots as you can see that was my battery usage till now and let me show you a couple of screenshots really quick so going into the gallery and let me just locate the screenshots here is the screenshot guys as you can see this was my complete usage pubg is the most youtube geekbench etc and a couple of other applications too this is not an elongated screenshot but there are a couple of applications downwards too and this was the battery life what i was getting and as for me the battery life for an android 11 rom for an initial build it's really amazing because battery life is pretty much similar to stable android 10 roms what i had used previously i didn't feel like this was the initial build or anything like that and i'm pretty confident that with the upcoming builds the battery life will be really good but even now there aren't any issues with the battery life so big thumbs up for that I was talking about the fingerprint scanner for some reason fingerprint scanner is not 100% working here as you can see it doesn't detect my finger it always says that fingerprint scanner is dirty I just wipe the scanner like this and use it then it works sometimes but most of the times it's not working and I'm not sure whether it's my device issue or ROM issue but till now what I was using Android 10 ROMs and OnePlus ported ROMs it was working absolutely well but with this ROM it's happening like that so I will try the latest build too which will be out really soon so guys this was a quick little review of the Octavio OS Android 11 on the Redmi Note 5 Pro so that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this also do follow me on Instagram link is in the description or it's appearing somewhere on the display this is all about technology 24 into 7 signing off for the moment you guys have a great day Peace.